Hello, I'm Norman Swan. If I were to tell you that there's a cancer treatment that can cure quite a few tumours, is available free, and yet one in five people who could benefit from it aren't receiving it, you'd be shocked, perhaps even outraged. I'm talking about radiotherapy, also called radiation therapy. Australia is one of the world leaders in the field, yet it's much misunderstood, not just by the general public, but by the medical profession itself. Yet people who receive radiation therapy can continue to work and live normally. Today's tonic is about busting a few myths and offering people with cancer an option they might not have considered or perhaps even been offered. I have a mental image about radiotherapy. I said to my multidisciplinary team, do what you have to do to keep me alive, and I really meant it. They'd come across a brain tumour. It was the toughest decision ever. We did a lot of research and spoke to a lot of people who had had kids in these situations, so whether to do the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy. And in the end, we made the decision that radiotherapy would be the way to go for us, for Lucas. I think it's important to be absolutely informed when making a decision. When one actually undergoes radiation therapy, uh, it was a huge learning experience for me. Radiation conjured up in my mind, you know, you glowing in the dark, you know, for the rest of your life and setting off Geiger counters in a 20 kilometre radius. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling better. Some days are bad, some days are good. So I heard that you had some x-rays With radiation, it helps my lifestyle a bit better. I can move around, go out, uh, take less painkiller. It really works for me. I think our ignorance, our reluctance to question our specialist peers, um, mean that a lot of patients who could have free non-destructive therapy, like radiotherapy, aren't even hearing about that option. In the last one to two decades, there have been major technological advances in radiotherapy, uh, such that what we do now is almost um, unrecognisable compared to what was done, you know, 20 years ago. Radiation therapy is an extremely cost-effective treatment. We know that 40% of cancer cures across the board uh, have radiation therapy as some component of cure, yet only nine cents in the, the cancer dollar in Australia is spent on radiation therapy. That's compared to thousands and thousands of dollars spent on cancer drugs with m much less effect in terms of curing patients. Just over a couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer, primarily in my tonsils, the back of my tongue and on the side of my throat. And I remember asking the doctor, um, how many stages are there? And was a bit startled to discover that there were four. Um, my immediate reaction was to say, you've got to keep me alive. Uh, my partner's parents have just died and my mum is 91 and I help care for her. And uh, the uh, surgeon I was speaking to said, I'll try. I was told that I would have 30 days straight of radiation with chemotherapy once a week at the beginning of each week that would help the radiation work. Um, and to be honest with you, I was just in a state of shock. Radiotherapy often seems like an invisible treatment. And, um, and the fact that there are very few side effects in some ways plays against it because they don't patients don't feel that they're actually getting treatment. They, it, there's almost this sort of, um, uh, you know, Anglo-Christian, you know, you've got to pay for your, your cures. You've got to have pain. You've got to have cuts. You've got to have scars. You've got to have vomiting. You've got to lose your hair. And so the fact that radiotherapy is relatively side effect free um, actually argues against people thinking that it's an effective treatment. Patients who um, are in the rest of their lives successful people who earn an income, they think that you solve a problem by one, throwing a lot of money at it, two, 
by, as I said before, paying for it in terms of surgery, pain, chemotherapy, losing hair, vomiting. As far as they're concerned is you get what you pay for. And so if you have radiotherapy for free, you are going to get an inferior treatment. And so if they have the means, they think, well, I'll throw the money at it. I'll throw the money at the surgeon. Well, I guess it's, it's really quite hard to accept that you've got prostate cancer when you're feeling so good. Um, there is no obvious and tangible sign of you sort of underperforming in any way or having pain or anything like this. Uh, and so, yes, indeed, uh, when you're told you've got prostate cancer, um, it, it is a bit of a shock. They sent me to a doctor whose particular speciality was surgery and therefore, perhaps not surprisingly, uh, the surgical uh, option was that which was presented to me. And I had thought that this was probably, you know, the main, you know, the, the proper way to go. But coming back and thinking about it and also just getting online and, and, and reading a few articles about it, I recognised that there were other options, other very real and viable and possibly even attractive options. And one of those was radiotherapy. Radiation therapy is a very effective cancer treatment. Um, what it does is actually target cancer cells inside the body. It damages the DNA and it means that the cells actually can't grow and spread and eventually they die and they're taken away by, by the body.